Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the loading screen animation from Fallout. Recently, like most people, I've been enjoying Fallout, the series, and I've also been playing Fallout 4 for a couple months, uh, really slowly getting through it. I'm going to show you how to make the shader that is used in the game. So let's just get started. So in this uh, default blender scene, the first thing I'm going to do is delete the default cube. We're pressing A, X and then delete. Then I'm going to save my scene and this will be available on my Patreon. So you can download it there and then see how I made this. Uh, next, I'm going to import one of the models from the game just to make it look a little bit better for the video, but you can use any model that you want. Just going to merge these together, then delete the custom split normals data and uh, shade smooth. And here we have our model from the game and we are going to be shading it like the loading screen. So first, make sure that in the render settings, your render engine is set to Eevee. You can do this with uh, cycles, but it just looks a little bit less cool. So just do Eevee. Then we want to go into rendered mode so we can preview our shader. I'm going to open up the shader editor here and make sure I only have one material to work with. Call this the uh, fallout effect or something. I'm going to delete the principal PSDF since we won't be needing that for any shading. And I'm going to add in a emission node and previewing that. As you can see in the reference image, there are these lines going through the object. So we can achieve that by adding in a wave texture, previewing that by control shift left mouse button. And we can see these vertical lines and we can play with the scale and all these parameters to change that up. I want these to be horizontal so I can set this to Y and this will give me horizontal lines. Then I can set the scale to about uh, 25, something that you like. I think this looks good and I want to make the white parts here green like in the image and then the black parts can stay black. So to do that I can go over to my emission node and set the color to uh, something like green. So the U set to 1 divided by 3 and that's a perfect shade of green. And now I want to mix in this wave texture to the emission. So I can do that by just duplicating this emission node and setting this to black. And then with a mix shader node, I can mix these two together and use the wave texture as the factor. And now everywhere where the wave texture is white, our shader will be set to green. And this works for the scan lines. It doesn't look anything near our reference image. And in the reference, we can see along the sides of the model, it becomes brighter and then in the middle it becomes a little bit darker and we have a cool node for that which is the fresnel node so we can just add it in here and preview it and this is what the fresnel does it's basically like the edges become white and then inside it becomes darker and this is depending on where you look at it from and we can use this and the wave texture to achieve our look so we can play with this ior to increase the gray values in the middle and you can set this to whatever you want. I think uh, 1.34 looks about right. You can also add in a color ramp node in the middle, to kind of push the black values in and the white values in as well. Something like this. It doesn't really have to be perfect. You can change this later. And then I want to kind of mix this with this wave texture and make it, the wave texture darker in the middle so we get more black in here and then brighter at the edges. So to do that, I can add in a math node in between this math uh, wave texture node and then get our Fresnel and multiply this together. And we will end up with something like this. If we now use this as a factor and preview our shader, we need to switch these two around. It looks like this, which is really cool. And I can still play with the IOR to get a little bit more gray in the middle. So green. And I can also play with the strength to make this look even better. I think something like 10 looks really great for this. And then you can play with the IOR to get it darker in the middle. But 1.4 around there uh, looks pretty much like Fallout game. You can also enable Bloom in the EV properties to get a little bit more glow around this, which also looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I think this is about it. So you can add in your camera and then just do a turnaround of this. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So with Shift A, we can add in a camera. And with Alt G, I can reset the location. And with Alt R, I can reset the rotation. So we have a perfectly straight camera. Then just rotate it along the x-axis by 90 degrees. 
and then just point it at the model something like this to create a turnaround animation there's a really cool add-on built into blender so you can go into edit preferences and then camera turnaround or turnaround camera just enable that and in the end panel here you can find animate and then turn around camera and then click on your object uh, select your camera here and then you can just click this button here and this will create your camera you can play with the values here and then you will have this turnaround animation and we can just adjust the location a little bit to frame our object then in rendered mode it will look something like this you can see that it's easing in and out a little bit which is not ideal and i see that for some reason this has changed the band direction so we can just set it to if this happens for you you can just hit ctrl t with no triangular add-on enabled to add these mapping coordinates and then just use the object uh, this will always work in the z direction uh, in that case you can also notice that our camera is now kind of smoothing in and out so we can select this rotation target and then select these keyframes right mouse button set the interpolation mode to linear and this should work now yeah it's uh, loops seamlessly which is really great then we can render this out and use it in our game or anything else to render this out we can go over to the output properties select this output uh, drop down here and then we can look for a folder be careful because by default you're rendering with images so this will be an image sequence so create a folder so the folder that you choose will be clean and empty then we can hit ctrl f12 to render out our animation this should be pretty quick since it's in ev if this was in cycles it might be a little bit longer but in ev it's uh, generally pretty quick and this is the result With this shader, you can also put it on a plane. You have to change the direction though. And then just render this out and use it as an image overlay. If you set this to darken on a white, over a white image, it will create the same effect, give it a green color and remove all the dark parts. And that's how I made the intro in the beginning, just with this image and then overlaying it on top of a white image with a glow on it. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.